Today I'm talking about how to diagnose electrical problems in a guitar. So let's take a look at this guitar and see if we can find out what's wrong with it. First off, let's plug it in, turn on the switch, and you'll notice that we don't have any output. We know we're getting power here, so let's take off the cover and see if we can find anything that's obviously wrong with it. To take off the guitar cover, we slowly turn the headstock until it comes off. We set that aside. That's an important thing to keep for later. Here we go. Let's take off the cover. Hmm, let's see here. Here's a switch I talked about earlier. Not saying anything off the bat. It's wrong with it. Let's look around. Let's see, just checking out the neck. Seems straight enough. Let's try the switch again. Maybe it's going to work now. Sometimes we're just shorted out. Hmm, still not getting anything. Let me think about what else we could do. Okay, now I kind of feel silly. After looking at it, I realize it doesn't have an important part. It's missing the time delay illuminating fuse. So let's see if I can find one of those and then it should be working again. Let's try it out. Of course, whenever you're working on something like this, you want to make sure that it's unplugged so there's no risk of electrical shock. So I actually already had on hand one of these vintage style time delayed illuminating fuses. So I'm going to install that now. Okay, that's installed. These are actually pretty easy to install. You just twist them until they're finger tight. Okay, now it's time to plug it in, turn the switch, and wow, we have output. Now the thing about these vintage style ones is you're gonna get more of a warm analog output, but there's some other options you have as well. If you don't wanna go with the vintage version, there's also this newer model. These last longer, but they don't have as warm of an output. Okay, let's try it out. Like I said, a little bit different output. These ones don't get hot either. So that's one advantage of this style over the vintage style. Now that we've found the problem, we're still not done yet. We actually have to reinstall the cover before we're ready. With the electrical problem diagnosed and repaired, the cover back on and the headstock reinstalled, this thing is ready for anything. Hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.